on your cart now, cold, not only creeping in front, but the stomping in front. Yeah, because of the way the man, I mean, I gave champion the first round, which maybe somebody, a judge might not have, and then the last three, Paul has just, you know, taken control of. Second warning from Tony Orlando to Al Cole to keep his punches up. The jab of Cole, very excellent. You can see it there. And he's using it not only to land, but also as a range finder. And there again, the hook to the body, which is the thing he has at Sabres. Hey, this is the best left hook Al Cole has shown us in a long time. What I really like about what Al Cole is doing, he seems to be much more on balance with his punches than he has here. He didn't lunge with his punches too much anymore. He did right there, but not too much. Good uppercut there. And I'll tell you, part of the reason why this is happening is Chambers is just doing absolutely nothing right now. Yeah, I think Chambers is fighting like a beaten fighter now. He really needs to throw something. It's just in a defensive shell, that's not going to get done. Not only a defensive shell, but a shell that's moving backward. And of course, you can't generate any offense when you're going on your heels. Chambers is only from 15 punches this round, Bob Kenobi up from punch profile tells us. And meanwhile, Al Cole going about his business, isn't he? Yeah, doing a very nice job. Cole now really starting to lose the beat the Chambers. Swelling out of the right eye of Governor Chambers. punches that would stun him, right hand, and, and take it from there. He did land a couple good rights at the beginning, but then just stopped. And I don't think he stopped as a result of anything that Al Cole did. He just stopped. End of the fifth round, and now we're going to just stop. Round six, and Chambers is going to have to have a dramatic turnaround here. He got a real lecture from his corner about all the things that we were talking about. As you look at the numbers, and again, I mean, there's just no way you could even think about giving a round to Chambers since the first round. And he has thrown 30 through 23. Guess how many he's thrown over five rounds? Only 168. I'm going to get it. Yeah. And that's exactly what his corner was admonishing him about. Don't, throw, don't go back it up. That's what he's doing, and he's doing it again here. They said if you are going to back up, take one step back and throw the punch. Right now he's in retreat. Cole is really, make, Cole is really making him pay for it. I mean, he's really ripping him to the body and the head. And the body, body attack just is good for Cole. This is a 10-round fight in the Cruiserweight division. Even though Al Cole is the champion, this is not for the USBA title. And Governor Chambers fighting going backwards here. And Al Cole fighting like a man who knows. See the left eye of Chambers almost closed. Al Cole fighting like a man who knows that he's on the verge of a championship opportunity. And maybe okay. when ESPN replays this, they can run the tape backwards and Chambers will win. <laughs> Reminder, the USBA Bantamboy Championship will be on the line of our main event, Junior Jones and Dio Anderhart. I'm looking forward to that. That should be an excellent match. I think uh, the match with Dio Anderhart has more than a good shot. The, the corner of Governor Chambers, now they can't stop the spot. They're standing. You see him in the, in the, in the background there. And now Tony Orlando is going to step in and stop it. And he's doing that at the behest of the corner of Governor Chambers. Now, they can't actually stop it, but Orlando knew that they wanted to and saw the eye and said, guess what? This is non-competitive. I'm going to stop it. Well, it's a shame. There you see the, the disappointment of Governor Chambers. We mentioned he's a very nice young man, has some talent, but it's not didn't show it here tonight at all. Now, first round competitive, and after that, there, 